right, I did it. I got a Pine Buds from Pine64. I was thinking about it. I have uh, these Samsung Buds, Samsung Galaxy Buds. Had them for maybe two or three years now. Almost three years. Bought them in 2020, September. Anyway, um, they're not bad. You know, like, sound is fine. Um, main reason... It's been having like Bluetooth problems lately. I'm in like a kitchen and it just drops out. So I was like, all right, next time I get uh, earbuds, I'll try the Pine 64. So here it is, ordered uh, April 3rd, April 5th it was shipped. And then now April 10th I have it. So let's have a look. Got our internal package. Ooh, this looks pretty good. This was uh, 70 bucks plus shipping. What's that say? Manual, case, USB-C, different languages. I'm gonna see if I can just pair it without reading the manual. And then um, there is like a open ANC firmware I was gonna try out. But I wanted to see how this is first, as is. All right, so I took the top off. Nice suction action. Top pad is foam, pine boots. Ah, uh, and then it slides out like that. Got some stuff in there. <clears throat> I'm not sure if these are gonna be dead or what. Oh, they're on. So, looks like it's trying to pair. Actually, before that, let me do a quick comparison. This might be dirty. Nasty. There's the Galaxy. Mostly wanted to show size comparison. Wow, that's four prongs. Oh, and they're taped off. That's neat. Does that make sense? <clears throat> Left to right. Pull one of these out. Size comparison. <clears throat> Pine buds are a little larger, like uh, height wise. Oh no, magnets! Gonna dox me here. A car drive. All right. <clears throat> Let's see. A pair. Oh, Pine Buds Pro. Get it. Ninety percent battery. That's pretty cool. Look, dude. This one doesn't say battery. Maybe it's new. All right. Well, uh, I will say. Regarding sound, I have a bias for V profiles. These are uh, MDR 7506 by Sony. And I also have this open back sure. These are, you know, like sub 200 headphones. This one's 100, this one's more, 180 something. Or... These, uh, <clears throat> I use them to listen to like shows, movies. But like music, I prefer the V, <laughs> uh, unfortunately, because uh, every other headphone like sucks when you get used to V profile. It sounds flat, you know, and it's like, that's normal sound is the flat. Damn, this thing is chunky. Oh, look at its size compared to this. Wow. Let's see if I can get something more. Relatable for scale. Chapstick. Okay, I'm gonna do a listen on sound. Oh, oh yeah, there's another one I want to say. <clears throat> this is a cheap 
Oh, this one's even bigger. <laughs> a little longer. Those are uh, Tozo, they're called. 23. Yeah, they used to be 40 bucks. These things are really bad. Like, sound wise, they're like tinny, like bad for music. I'm gonna do a quick comparison across these three listening to a song. This is cool. There are lights here, they're white. That's pretty nice. SBN. Well, that was not great. I recorded this video and uh, this mic didn't work. It used to work. Different camera. I don't know. Anyway, I'll do it again. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to compare three different headphones the Samsung Galaxy Buds. Uh, Tozo, which is like cheap, 40 bucks, 100 bucks, Pine 64, which uh, it was $100 like a while back, but now it's 70 plus shipping. Um, and this one, you can change the firmware, you know, modify and everything. That's the selling point of it. It's like you control the code for the most part. I don't know about like the binaries or something like you have to see if you can do all that yourself. Unlike, you know, modems where it's like a proprietary thing or uh, illegal to do it yourself. But okay, let's see. Uh, so I'm using this song. Uh, I'll put it in the description, but it's a feature funk song. So it's like, uh, it's like upbeat, high tempo. Uh, I don't know how to describe it. So, I already know the results because I did this before, but yeah. So I pointed out that after I paired these the first time, every time you put them in, they say like pairing complete. Yeah, which doesn't make sense, like pairing complete, I, already, I know. Um, that's cool, so it's standard ANC on. That's the noise canceling active, or is it something else? Okay. I got time, man. No job. I got time. So these are very loud, like almost deafeningly loud if you really turn them up. So that's a plus because like the Samsung Buds, sometimes, you know, they're not loud enough. You like turn it up working out or something. They're very bassy as is. Like it's hard to hear vocals, like individual instruments. So that's not great. But, you know, you can modify EQ and whatnot. I plan to flash the open ANC firmware on this. So like that might change by default and then you can modify it. But yeah, out of the box, they're very bassy. And keep in mind, like these are my main slash favorite headphones. These uh, MDR 7506, you could hear like a pin drop in a song. Like that's the kind of headphones they are. Which, you know, I don't know, that's how you're supposed to listen to music, but I got used to that, and now that's like what I always use. Other headphones, they always sound flat, because, you know, they're neutral. But yeah, so keep that in mind. Um, but, so yeah, these are very bassy. Um, stock. And then uh, the Tozos, these are like cheap, they're tinny, uh, but, they are they sound better than the pine buds yeah like here it's more balanced it's not like boom 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 with just bass but the high 
high part is like it hurts you. You're like, ah, it's too loud. But that's what the songs are, though. They have a lot of that. Okay. Then we've got the Samsung Buds. The only reason I was trying to replace these is because they keep getting disconnected lately. Uh, and in general, I don't wear these much because like I'm always at home. I got big speakers or, or headphones. When I used to like work out, I would wear these, you know, and want like the three, five hour battery life. I don't know how long these ever lasted, but the Pine Buds Pro apparently lasts five hours, which I could believe because they're massive. Like they're way taller than these ones, so bigger battery. Yeah, these, these are definitely the best of all three, sound-wise. Default, no programming. There is an uh, EQ thing it comes with, but the other annoying thing about these, Samsung, which is probably just, you know, Android, when you pair them with your phone, you have to accept, like, 12 permissions, you know, because it has, it supports features, like, read your calendar or whatever, but, like, yeah, to use it, you had to, like, enable all these permissions. You're like, why? their headphones, you know, Bluetooth. I think location was one of the things, which I started writing code for that and I understand, you know, like the fine course location, but yeah, anyway, so out of the box, they're very bassy, but they're loud uh, and then probably long battery life. So I'm gonna check that firmware stuff. I'm gonna read up on it, how to do it, and I'm gonna try it. If it don't break it, I'll compare the sound and see. I also will investigate how to like turn the noise canceling because maybe that affects sound. I've never had noise canceling headphones before, like Bose or whatever, so I'm not sure. The only noise canceling I've had is like, not noise canceling, but the closed back headphones like these in particular, you can like not hear much outside. Okay, let me do that. Okay, so this is a community ANC open pine buds. <laughs> I was skimming this, I was like, you need Docker setup. Oh man, this is not great. I already have that, it's just, you know, definitely not newbie friendly, I'd say. <sighs> but whatever, you just read, read and do it. Yeah, I'm gonna look into this. I was on their Discord and talked to somebody, and there's general steps. I was taking notes. I'm still trying to read and make sure I don't <laughs> break this thing the first day. Like the laptop. <laughs> Which I later fixed, but yeah. <sighs> oh, once I understand what I'm doing, I'll write it. I got my other laptop, so uh, Ubuntu. Ubuntu. Um, I'll do the stuff there. I'm always sketched up, plugging in new electronics into my main computer. Anyway, here it is. So I'm just looking at the wiki here. This is uh, super cool, you know. If I was like a low-level person, seeing all this stuff, like... That's not much, but 300 megahertz. Your Arduino is like 8. Although, like, Teensy, that's like 600 base, but... That's uh, also, you know, $20 versus, like, two, but, yeah. Anyway, it's just cool, you know, you have all this other earbuds, you just, like, you buy it and you use it. But this thing, you can reprogram it, you know, do stuff. I'm just, like, not at this level. I work in, you know, JavaScript, Python, server-side stuff. So, yeah. I'm working on getting into it, but I'm just reading through this and other people's experience to make sure I don't... We were talking about copying the original firmware on each earbud. I might do that just to have it. 
you know, this isn't really that expensive. Like, if it just died, I wouldn't really care. <laughs> but, you know, I also would like to see if uh, you put the new firmware on there, like, are they really good? Because apparently they're like six millimeter speaker. And no idea on like frequency ranges or anything, but is it in here? Frequency? No. Usually with like headphones, you can see a frequency profile or whatever. But yeah, I'm gonna do it, and then I'll show the steps. I'm sure it's probably written somewhere already if you just Google it. I'm doing the backup and the uh, cables they give you are not data. They don't have data lines. So I had to use my own. Now you can see the serial stuff connecting. What is a mounted shared volume? Like I changed the file in the repo I cloned. Then I looked in the container that's running and it's there. And then the, uh, making sure it's the right. I don't know which one is which, like left or right. That's a problem. I guess I could pull one out. This is probably really stupid, but I'm gonna try it. <laughs> I'm gonna try putting Docker on the Manjaro. My display just die. What happened? I was done. It. Um, also, far it's working. I, uh, I had to install App Armor, then restart the computer. He's in, ladies and gentlemen. That was one of those things that's like stupid. You like try something over and over. It's on different machines, but it's Docker. You know, like, is it the same result? I don't know. Try it. Here we are again. Um, <clears throat> check the devices, it's there. TTY CM01. Oh, look at this. This time I waited. Let's see what happens. I just did the right one so far. This is looking good. But on the left, take it out, turns blue, put it back in. Wait. It was like five seconds or more. Okay. Got it finished. Wow. All right, it's backed up. Now I can do the thing, which I get a copy. Let me do that and then I'll show it. All right, got it locked. Bar one. It's not asking me to take the buds out. <clears throat> hmm. 
I'll just wait. It was like 10 seconds last time. This is I3 WM. Try it again. I unplugged it, replugged it in. It doesn't ask me to pull the things out. Let me try one more thing. I'll pull the buds out. So did zero, do one. They're both for red. I don't know if the skills are charging. So I unplugged, pulled them out, pulled them out, popped them back in, replugged in. LSTTY, make sure the things are there. Oh my god. One more! Come on, I know, but I don't want my down. Sadness smothers us. Where do we find the will? The courage to continue. I think I gotta do something again. Well, at least one finished. So unplug. Oh, wait, no, no. Unplug. Pull out. In. Pull out. In. Replug. TTY, they're there. Now we do one. One left is or right is flashing. Weird. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Transferring the electrons. Master of the electricity. The elements. Alright, I guess it's done. Let me see if there's a difference right away out of the box. Nice recording as I try it on. Uh, oh crap, I want this. Should make sure I charge this up to like 60%. Fifty-five percent. Okay. 
Um, so first thing I notice, I plug it in, it says power on. So it's definitely different. Now I pair... Pairing... Looks like it's already paired. Maybe I have to forget it. Pair. Hind buds. That's not my TV, I don't have a TV. What? <laughs> it's a thought connected? Like T-H-O-T? What do you mean? Alright, now we try the song. It's not as bassy, but it's still bad. <laughs> oh, what is it? How do I describe it? It's like a... Uh, like you're in like a cave or something. It's not like echoey, but it's like... It still sounds empty, you know, like... It's definitely a huge improvement over the other one. The other one was like so blended. like. Uh, bassy, muffled almost. Not muffled. But it's still like not good. <laughs> it's not terrible. It's like. Oh, yeah. Hold on, let me. I left them all over there in one sec. All right, let me do one quick. I already know, like the, the Samsung buds are gonna be at all, but I'm sorry to do that comparison, but you know, you buy these things for sound. Uh, let's see. <laughs> it just sounds so, like, full, you know, like everything is there, it's not missing. Uh, now let me put the Tozo in real quick. This one sounds, you know, like decent, full, but it's also really high, like this. Ah, man, I'm really bad at describing that, but yeah, this one's like missing bass, but it's still like very alive. I will try the EQ stuff and see if I can fix it. <laughs> Why does it say that?
let me try one more time. It sounds flat, like low. It sounds low. This will be it for now uh, in this video. I get a figure out where that EQ file is and I'll probably have to like learn some stuff about EQ to tweak it and then I'll see if I can match the sound quality of this I know it's not fair to compare them like this is a hundred dollars and this was a hundred dollars before but now it's 70 the main thing about this is you can look at the code like the firmware you know uh, actually I have it open over here but you know, it's like Artos, you know, all that stuff is there. And like, you just buy one of these, you just, it is what it is. Granted, do you, you know, do you know how to code? <laughs> Which I don't know how to do that uh, low level stuff, like real time operating system. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna see if I can get it to sound well, sound good. I'm gonna. Make a follow video because the other thing I want to do is I want to use these, you know, like five hours straight and see if it's true. But yeah, that's it. Finally got it to work, so that's cool. Took me way too long, unfortunately.